and that, my esteemed colleagues, is clear proof that the great pyramids of Egypt were built by visitors from another planet, and definitely not from anyone here on Earth. Woo! Yeah. Excellent yeah. job! Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Martin, for a provoking, another provoking presentation. It is now my privilege to welcome to the Old Genius League, a world traveler and pioneer in an exciting new field, futurism. Futurism is the science of predicting future trends in work, domestic life, and science. Please give a big yodel welcome to Professor, wow, Professor are you Claudius? Gentlemen, I stand before you today to share with you my predictions for cataclysmic changes that are about to befall your work environments and indeed your entire empire. As you know, today, the most efficient form of energy for powering your factories is orphans on tread wheels. No, no, no. You see, in the near future, I predict that the energy needed to power your businesses, your factories, and even light your homes will be produced centrally by your government or even private companies. Yes. And delivered to your businesses over wires. And this energy will be more efficient and lower in cost than anything you are using today. More efficient than orphans on treadmills? Claudius, you're mad! Next you'll be telling us that we won't be lighting our homes with whale oil anymore. Whale oil. It's true! Changes are coming! For example, you have been using the exact same methods for business accounting and calculation and computation as you have for hundreds of years. It's a living. It's true, changes are coming. You, you see, I predict that in the near future, all manner of business calculation and computation will take place outside of your business. Oh. Yes, oh. it will be provided centrally as a service and the results transmitted instantly back to your business. Yes, and it will scale with your business. You'll be able to run your businesses remotely. Claudius, you're a lunatic. You've gone too far. And so, Professor R.U. Claudius was thrown out of the old genius league, never to return. Perhaps Claudius was just too far ahead of his time. Maybe he was right on time. 